Hi guys, and in this tutorial we're going to quickly install Minecraft server in our last VM that we created, um, Ubuntu. So we're back on our server, and for those of you who this is the first video you're joining, the link will be at the end of the video to show you how to make this server. We're going to quickly go to the Minecraft website and we're going to save ourselves the Minecraft server file. It is a .jar file. So, from experience, we know this is a Java file. So, I've just saved it to the desktop. I'm going to create a new folder because it's going to make some more files in a minute. And it could get very messy. So, we're just going to name it Minecraft Server. And we're going to drag and drop our Java file in there. Now, to run this Java file, we first need to make it executable. Um, by default in Linux, things aren't executable. So, make it executable, close the window. Now we are going to come to terminal. And first of all, we are going to do an apt get or sudo apt get install of um, open JDK. Uh, 7 or 8 I think is the latest version dot j, uh, dash jdk and we're going to hit yes we need uh, the rest of it so for anyone who needs these commands I will be posting them on my blog the link is in the description for any of you who want to build uh, an advanced virtualized home server the link will be at the end of the video so now this is installing it does take a few seconds to install. Uh, obviously, depending on your internet speed, mine's fairly good. So uh, I'm not really a Minecraft player. I have been. I have played the test version uh, that you can get from Minecraft. Um, however, a friend of mine. Uh, really want to see a tutorial on exactly how to set it up so we're gonna do that for him in this video and tomorrow I'm gonna post a video on how to set up Minecraft on a Windows Server 2012 um, which is slightly different it doesn't really require um, command line as much uh, obviously because the packets all install nice and easy. Right, so we've got our install finished. And we are just going to clear. I guess it says. So we're just going to um, clear everything out. So we're going to paste in this command. The command can be found on the in the link in the description. Um, obviously, I'm not in the right folder now. So we need to move to the desktop and move to our folder named Minecraft server. And if you ls, you can see the Minecraft jar. So we're going to run the same command again. And we're going to give it a second. And eventually it's going to pop us up a load of text and some files like that. And it's automatically closed the, the server again. Um, you need to come back into the folder that we saved everything to and open the emula.txt. And in the emula.txt there is a line that says false. You need to set this to true and then save it. This just means that you've agreed to the terms that they've set. So we're going to come back to our command line. You're going to press up on the arrow key and it will give you the same command you just ran. And after a few seconds of loading, 
we should get our Minecraft server. And there's our Minecraft server. And it's now springing to life. And as you can see, it's uh, it's ready for users to log in. Uh, like I said, I'm not I've not played Minecraft other than you know borrowing someone's account. But um, that's that's as easy as it is. Uh, the Minecraft server's up and running. If you follow the tutorial for port forwarding that will be posted at the end, you'll be able to port forward. You will have to replace port eighty with the port for Minecraft, but then it will be accessible over the internet. And as it's running on a virtual private server, um, yeah, it can run 24-7. If you wanted to leave it running for friends to log in, for um, guests to log in, or just the public to log in, it would be up 24-7. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give us a thumb up, thumbs up. Um, anything I've missed, please post a comment in the in the uh, comment section and any of the commands I used or the links I used will be in the blog post in the description. So once again thanks for watching until next time.